Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Time to discuss the troll pie debunk pie is not equal to four video. I'm gonna go over this. It's a revisited uh, video because I did this uh, like a year, or a bit longer than that ago, and I'm just going to go over it and show that I made a couple mistakes in in the debunking uh, video, and also uh, and also also went over a pie, troll pie video as well. You can see those in the video links below. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do is recap on the troll pie. So troll pie saying if you draw a circle with a diameter uh, 1 right here and you know that pi is, is defined as a circumference divided the divided by the diameter and, and since if it's just 1 is going to equal to well c over 1 is equals to c so whatever the circumference is that's going to be pi for a diameter of one circle so now if you were to draw a square around it uh, perimeter 4 yes yeah, so that the sides are all four, are all 1 add them up it's going to be 4 etc uh, that's a, that's going to be circumference or perimeter of a square. And then if you break the corners up, you're, this is the same diameter. I mean, this is the same circumference. You're not changing the circumference. And as you can see in this, it's getting closer to the the circle. If you keep doing this, the the perimeter still four. And if you keep doing infinity, then basically the perimeter is the circle here, or four is equal to pi. And then you got the troll face guy right here. And uh, problem Archimedes, he's so this is uh yeah this is just a troll pie illustration, and now I wanna quickly recap on my earlier troll pie debunk video and show that it's uh, it's not really a proof uh, that it isn't uh, pi is equal to but pi is not equal to four. Basically, I looked at line thickness and stated that breaking a square down to infinite corners, as in this case, requires an infinitely thin line thickness and hence not possible. And what I meant by that is if you were to break a corner like this with a thin line. You can see you could do it, and as a thick line, it's going to be well. It's going to be harder now to do it. You're not going to be physically able to do it uh, more and more if you were to break this these and down in corners if you have the same line thickness. So we needed an infinitely thin one, but this is not a really good proof right here. You're not supposed to consider line thickness in uh, like geome geometric proofs of any constants or any or any math principle. Now, uh, the actual proof of the troll pie or debunking troll pie is, well, I thought this initially, but I just thought it was too simple. Basically, infinitely jagged corners. That is basically the proof that troll pie, it's, it's false right here. Because if you look at these corners right here, uh, so basically you'll always have this case, even if you were to zoom in or go to the infinity corners, so you'll have something like, let's, uh, let's say you had a perfect circle and it's covered in these corners right here and if you were to zoom in at any point you're gonna have something like let's say like this and then you're gonna see that it's always gonna be like this so every time you zoom in so at infinity you're still gonna have these jagged corners and this is always increasing the uh, the circumference to 4 instead of pi which is 3.14 and as you can see there's a point touching the point not touching point touching point not not touching so you always have this so this is the actual reason for uh, the troll pi not being true and now according to this troll pi logic you can actually make pi equal to infinity because of these well infinite jagged corners and then one example of that is a star with a perimeter is which is infinity so if you had a diameter of one circle like this and you were just to draw a, a star like this or where you have infinite jagged corners or let's just say you have a not infinite right now so something like this so as you can see the perimeter is obviously going to be really really large because you're going up and down or side to side a, a million times etc so you go somewhere like this and now, and now if you were to go to to do that to infinity, ignoring this line thickness uh, stuff I was talking about. So you go to infinity, etc., all the way around. You're gonna obviously go all, yeah, you're basically all the way around where it basically looks, or I'll, I'll just assume I went all the way around, and it just looks like a circle right here. Yeah, so it looks like a circle uh, with, or a circle, but with now parameter is equal to infinity or equals to pi or, or the circumference because the diameter is one. So as you can see, you can make pi anything if you are allowed to do this. So, and then when you were to zoom in at any point, even if it's not infinity, let's say at let's say parameter is a hundred thousand, you're gonna when you zoom in, you're gonna get something like this every time you zoom in, and you're just gonna get like something like that.
Now, instead of the troll pi, an actual uh, geometric proof of pi is, well, when you look at Archimedes' proof, you can see the video link below in the description where I've gone over this, and it basically involves an n-sided polygon as n approaches infinity. So as you can see, with this one, you have five sides here, and it's it's uh, it's not that close to a circle, but as you increase the size of six, etc., now it's getting closer and closer to the circle, and then when you... Uh, eventually have let's say infinity uh, sides you're gonna basically get a circle and then when you were to zo if you were to zoom in all the way here and then to a line let's say like this you're gonna get a line like like this that's really close so then if you were inside if you're thinking about inside the circle etc then it's, then it's, it's gonna be less than pi but it's really really close so all you're really doing is so as you increase the infinity I'm going going to a infinity sides or close to it all you're getting is basically closer and closer to pi and the decimal places will just get farther farther to the right or how close you will get so basically this is an actual proof and not one of those infinite jag jagged points which is which are not all the points are on the line of the circle and and every time you move away you're still you're adding a circumference or added extra perimeter to it and uh... well that's all for today hope you uh, learned from this uh... Uh, well, this troll pie revisit. Hopefully, it, if you saw my early video, hopefully this clear things clears things up. And yeah, make sure you could also uh, always download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.